I'm Derek Wilcox. I'm an executive chef at Shoji, uh, a Japanese restaurant in the Tribeca neighborhood of New York City. As for me, uh, I first became interested in Japanese cuisine when I was a cooking school student at the Bowen Institute of America and went to Japan during uh, a couple of breaks that I had. Uh, trained a little bit in restaurants, both in Tokyo and in Kyoto. Uh, and uh, after I graduated, decided I wanted to go to Japan for as long as I could. At the time, I was thinking maybe two years, maybe three years at most, uh, and train, learn as much as I could. And uh, I trained in Kikinoi uh, in Kyoto. Uh, and it didn't go according to plan at all. Uh, I ended up getting really sucked in uh, by the history, uh, the culture, the depth of technique, um, and the complexity. And uh, ended up staying in Kikinoi for almost seven years. Uh, then went to Tokyo, trained in sushi at uh, Ginza Sushi Aoki for another three years. Trained a little bit in um, uh, Kobe Gyu and Masazaka Gyu at uh, Nikusho Moriyasu uh, before coming back to uh, the United States, finally. Now, when you train in Japanese cuisine, and then you move on and uh, do your own thing. Either it's your own restaurant or you're appointed as a chef at, uh, at a restaurant. Uh, the things that you have to think about that, that I found are, especially when you do a long apprenticeship, uh, you've been trained in certain techniques. Uh, you've been trained in certain pathways and you develop certain habits. And those habits are good uh, they will help you, um, uh, especially in challenging times, um, but the habits can also hurt you uh, because they can, you end up coloring inside the box and you need to find within yourself and have the uh, courage to color outside the box. Maybe people won't like what you do. Um, and I think the most important thing is to connect with people who love what you do and you love doing it for them more than worrying about what people will like what you do or not. And I think whether you're in Japan or outside of Japan, no matter what you've done, when you train for a long time and then, and then have to execute on your own, that's the most important thing. So I've been asked, what does Japanese cuisine mean to me? First of all, hospitality. The guest is always first. Then technique. Uh, there's been more than a thousand years of continuous development in Japan of the techniques, how to treat ingredients. Uh, aesthetically, there's a lightness, a finesse, um, an appreciation for the transitory or fleeting things in life, and a connection with nature and also natural rhythms. And finally, there's a, the Japanese call it tamashi, it's spirit or guts, uh, the ability to overcome adversity, especially adversity within yourself. And that's what Japanese cuisine means to me.